If you're lucky enough to have one of my blazing stoves, you'll find it's very easy to clean the glass. In most stoves, you'll find that the glass is bonded into place. On my stoves, it's a simple matter of removing two clips, taking the glass out, and I can whip this over to the bench and quickly show you how I clean it, and we'll also discuss a few of the other methods that I've seen online that people are using. Right, so here we are with the window cleaning apparatus. My favourite is baking soda. I use it for so many things. Other people use the ash from the fire itself mixed with a bit of water. I find that really, really messy. Although, yeah, it does work. Oven cleaner, you can't beat it, but it's nasty chemicals and you really should be wearing gloves for using this stuff. Salt, yeah, that works too. Um, I've tried them all out. Um, some people use lemon juice and salt mixed together, other people use vinegar. Now here's something, regardless of what you use, a green Scotch-Brite pad is one of the best things you can use for cleaning glass. But make sure it's a worn one, not one of the sharp new ones. So here we go, half a teaspoon of baking powder, a little bit of water, I'm just dipping it in the water, there we go. And it doesn't take much rubbing to get this stuff off, whether it is resin and tar, or whether it's just a dusty smoke, this stuff seems to get it off quick smart. So there we go. We'll just give that a wipe with a bit of paper to get the smears off. Flip it over and do the other side, do the edges, and it's ready to go back in. Look at that! You just can't beat the ambience of a nice warm wood fire when the weather outside is foul, windy and rainy. These clouds are so low I can almost reach up and touch them. I don't think I've ever quite seen it like this. There's nasty weather coming over. So here we are. One last job and then I can go and keep warm and start cooking dinner. Bring some firewood up from down the bottom up to my wood boxes. Fill up my wood box outside the door first. Get as much in here as I can. And the rest of it can go into my wood bins down the side of the workshop. got four old washing machine bodies lined up down the side of the workshop wall here. Here you go. Cheap tin boxes. Large, waterproof and durable. They make awesome wood bins. So there we go. Top them up and I'm sorted for the next week or so. So, thanks for watching my video once again. This has been Tiny House and Off Good Resources. I'm off inside to stay warm.